Hey folks, David Townley, Townley Pools. We've got a new little twist here. We're going to be doing smoked shotgun shells. That's right. We're going to be using these uh, manicotti shells um, uncooked. We're going to let the bacon grease and some of the regular sausage grease cook them, but super easy. You just stuff it right with some sausage, or maybe you can make up your own mixture of uh, brown meats and cream cheeses, um, other seasoned spices, but we just went right with a Jimmy Dean sausage. And we're going to stuff about a third of it into the end. And then we're going to use a piece of cheddar cheese, kind of cut into a cube or into a block, and then stuff that into kind of the middle part of the manicotti noodle. And then come right back in on the other side and keep stuffing it with some of that Jimmy Dean sausage and pushing that in there and stuffing it nice and compact. It's kind of neat. It looks like a shotgun shell kind of with those ridges going around the outside. And then just because everything tastes better with bacon, we're actually gonna wrap a piece of bacon around the outside of it. So sorry it's a little bit out of frame here, but we're just gonna take this piece of bacon and wrap it all the way around the manicotti shell so that we're gonna cover all of that pasta with that piece of bacon so that the grease from the bacon and the sausage will kind of cook that piece of uh, pasta while it's on the grill. We're gonna cook this indirect low and slow at about 250, 275 on the big green egg and shooting for about two hours. So got some work to do here, ta-da, they're all done. We've got them wrapped here in a pan and then we take them out to the big green egg. We cooked them on top of the grill grates. It's probably one of my favorite accessories for the big green egg. It's these raised ridges. It's got some little holes down there to let the grease drip through. But what you find with this is you don't get any flare up. Um, it's a great way to cook burgers, chicken breasts, anything that you're gonna cook pseudo indirect we use the grill grates. Plus it also puts a nice sear on a steak or on burger or anything like that. So I'm just going to take some tongs. I'm going to place these smoke shotgun shells out here on the egg. And again, we're going to be cooking 250, 275 or so and shooting for about two hours, you know, maybe 215 until they're done. We're trying to just get that pasta, that shell cooked in there. So you can kind of hear it sizzling. It smells wonderful. Anything you can do with bacon on it sure is a nice touch. So we're gonna be checking in with it here in a little bit, and then we will at the very end baste it with some barbecue sauce. So here's kind of the finished product. We've got them all out there, started to cook. And then here's at about an hour mark. You know, you can see that bacon starting to kind of crisp up. And then at about the two hour mark, I came back in with some barbecue sauce and kind of brushed it on there. And then cut it right in half. I'm actually gonna to try to cut right where that cheese is and have that kind of be almost like the end of the shotgun shell, like the blasting cap, but really good. You guys enjoy it and thanks for tuning in to our Egg Fest on the go.